Hi, Pipe Smokers. It's Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, and we have another tobacco review for you. I've been waiting anxiously for this blend by Samuel Galwith uh, for well over a year. And uh, it finally uh, became available in stock on pipesandcigars.com. <clears throat> and uh, my uh, one of my subscribers, the pipe smoker, said, Hey, man, it's available on pipesandcigars.com. You better jump at it. And he was right. I ordered two tents. Then later that day, I was thinking about it. I'm like, ah. Oh. I went back online, ordered another two tins. Um, and uh, <clears throat> they sold out in a day. So the tobacco we're going to be looking at this evening is Samuel Galwith and Company Limited. Established 1792 in England. It's called Squadron Leader. Good luck getting that. Yeah, Squadron Leader. So, let me read you a little bit about what's in the Squadron Leader. It is a quintessential English blend. Uh, it has golden and stoved Virginias. Turkish, which is also Orientals, uh, Latakia, and it's supposedly a Latakia lover's blend, and I do love Latakia. So, we have my Mr. Brog, I'm sorry, my Dr. Graybow Vintage Crown Duke, loaded to the top with it, yeah. I was trying to decide what pipe I was going to smoke this out of, and then I was like, you know what, I haven't smoked that uh, Crown Duke Dr. Grey Bow in a while, and I love this pipe. It's a great smoker. It's got some beautiful designs on the side, some carvings of tobacco leaves, uh, you know, just a great smoker, and this is a vintage pipe. And it's like brand new out of the box. And for any of you uh, that may understand this, I, I don't know how to date some of these. I haven't researched it enough. <clears throat> but it does have a blue club on the side instead of a white club. So, I believe that puts it maybe around the 60s, 1960s. I don't, I don't know. So let's open up our squadron leader and take a whiff. It's got that nice little card right there. Oh yeah. Can definitely smell the Turkish in the uh, Virginia's. Uh, it's actually, it says it has a fair amount of Latakia in it, but if you actually look at the blend, you can see the Orientals and the Burleys, I'm sorry, the Orientals and the uh, Virginia's a lot more. Looks like there's a lot more of that in there than Latakia, although it says it does have a fair amount of Latakia. Oh, the smell is just unbelievable. I don't really... No, I can smell a little Latakia in there. So, let's light it up. I've got another four blends coming in, plus a pipe uh, that I purchased this evening that uh, when they come in, we'll review. So... Here we go. Yes, we have fire and everything. So, uh, Samuel Galwith, Squadron Leader. Good luck getting it now. I don't even know if my other two tens are coming in. The first two tens said they were shipped. It gave me a tracking number and all that stuff. 
later that day, the second two tins that I did order uh, gave me a tracking number. It says that a label's been printed now for the past couple days. It says it shipped, but it doesn't have an arrival date, so maybe they sold out of it before my second order of the next two tins was filled. Because I ordered two tins, which I received today. The other two tins, it says it shipped, but it uh, has no time when it's supposed to be here. So I don't know. Maybe they couldn't fill that second order. So here we go. Hmm. Interesting. Rises up out of the bowl real good. Yeah, let's try that. That was our char light. Burns extremely well. It's moderate as far as strength. Can definitely taste The Virginia's in it. I can taste a little Latakia in the background. And definitely the Turkish I can taste. I uh, <coughs> definitely would not consider this an all-day smoke. I think if you smoke this all day, you'd definitely get tongue bite. But I think that it would be a nice bowl to have, you know, either early in the morning or just before bed. It is a bit strong on the tongue. Oh, yeah. We can feel that Latakia kicking in. That's a strong blend. They say, on some of the reviews I looked at, they said it was a medium blend, but no, this is... I like it a lot, but it is, you can definitely feel, it would definitely give you tongue bite very quickly. Well, I expected a little more Latakia content in it. I'm not disappointed in the blend uh, by any means. I do like the blend. I would probably have to give this out of a 1 to 10 rating, probably about a 7. Just because I can already feel it on my tongue. So it is a strong blend. The room note seems to be good from what I can smell of it. Mm. 
Mm. It does burn good once you get it going. This blend, though, is definitely going to be rough on your tongue. You better smoke it slow. Anyways, yeah, I'd rate it about a 7. I'm still happy with it, though. So, Squadron Leader by Samuel Galwith and Company. Um, I would imagine that now that I take this 10, put it in a Ziploc bag, stow it away for a year, it's going to mellow right out. Probably no tongue bite after a year, but that's my sensation right now. Yeah. It's been rough on my tongue. It has. So anyways, that's uh, Paul the Pipe Guy's Squadron Leader review. Tobacco review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And happy pipe smoking pipe smokers. Paul the Pipe Guy over and out.